Good evening, fellow punters. The clock on the wall says 6.36 on a Friday, a cold Friday evening in the west of Ireland. It's probably the same all over Ireland. Uh, a lot of frost out there. Um, Navin has called off tomorrow. I had planned on going, going early. So that's off. Punchestown looks dodgy. I uh, hope uh, Cheltenham gets to go ahead tomorrow, but that's uh, has to pass an inspection as well in the morning. Um, today... Uh, on up and down day I mentioned I went through all the races last night and I thought that the best bet was each way the safest each way bet was Andy Harriman asking what does he do he finishes fourth and Eva's Oscar wins Attica wins met a fella in the shop this morning he said you should stumble across your words more often he said it caught me attention uh, will it win and I said I don't know but um uh, it did win, and uh, Legends Pride was placed. Um, fine casting. Uh, a bit annoyed with that jockey, you know what he was looking around him for, and he didn't make much of an effort. Um, I had two point one five to one for twenty quid just that evening, and he went off eight to fifteen. Um, annoyed that he couldn't even uh, um, try harder, but um, uh, we have a few. In Dundalk, yet to uh, take us out of a hole. Uh, the one in the last race, there's a lot of money for it. Uh, I had sevens yesterday, so I think it's into uh, fours now. And let's hope Samro can get placed as well. I got twelves yesterday evening on that. Uh, tomorrow is uh, it's hard to know with, with the race and what's going on. Uh, but I went for uh, I went for a couple of. Uh, the one third, one fifty seven, uh, at Hereford. It seems Hereford is definitely going ahead tomorrow. There's a horse there, Go Dante. Um, I was impressed with him last year. He won uh, when he won first time out. Um, uh, he won a bumper and then he won uh, a novice hurl in um, Bangor. He wasn't seen now since he was fourth in the Cello hurl. Um, and there's people that don't be getting uh, mixed up there's a horse there that finished fifth in the Chalo lost him out it's not the same lost him out that done the business last week in uh, in Fairy House but um, I think uh, I'm hoping that when it won first time out and, and that it's a better than 128 horse uh, so I think the time to catch it is when it's fresh tomorrow it's 3-1 there 11-4 to four. Uh, point win on that and uh, another meeting that's definitely going to go ahead tomorrow is the 7 the 550 there's a horse there that has ran 5 times 3 times on the goo and it has won 3 times on the goo uh, Manifit uh, for Varian and Varian uh, out of his last 21 runners he has had 5 winners in 5 places that's 24% to the list of the fair that he went at that time and he to that six furlongs but it, he's won a seven in Kimpton seven in uh, Chelmsford and uh, one at Lingfield so he is only uh, to Southern and Wolverhampton to win out to get the, the full hand so uh, he's well to see what price they say seven to four favourite Um uh, yeah, we could uh, could put a two point win on that. I mean, they're they're uh, they're they're tr trying to get a win out when we begin. You know, they're keeping them there. Uh, the big race at Cheltenham tomorrow is the one fifty. Uh, but let's see. Uh, what was it going? Um, no favourite since two thousand and nine has won this. That was Pakalan for Paul Nichols. Ruby Walsh wrote it and won also in 2010. Paul Nichols has won five out of the last 13. Uh, Froden won it twice as a four-year-old and as a six-year-old. He has El Rodito tomorrow, which is solid for him. Um, it was uh, fourth in the Paddy Power Cup and it's only five. Um, but the fact favourites are scarce in winning uh, puts me off a little. Uh, it should run well. It should definitely be placed, I would imagine. But there was a horse there that I had, uh, I think, is laid out for the race 
is Cheddleton. Uh, Twas second last year in Cheltenham to uh, either the geese in the two. Uh, exactly a year ago. Um, and it runs well at the track, but last time it had a pipe opener over hurls, I thought. They seem to have targeted this race. It opened at 20 to 1 there a while ago. Uh, it's With 365, it's into 10s. They're paying four places. William Hillesey is paying five, but it's 14s there with Paddy Power. I thought that might be worth an each way bet, uh, a value bet, uh, with four places being paid tomorrow. The, does it good enough card if it goes through? Um, the Stieg has uh, picked Jackpot de Chazelle, or de Chazelle. His French is better than mine, um, as an each way, and as fancied, I think, by the McConnell uh, Yard, they're shrewd operators. Um, You'd imagine uh, Mont Morel should be winning that, but uh, kisses for Katie. I had uh, picked the other day. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. She's she's not a bad mare. Uh, this is the way it, it, this is the Shrieks nap. Uh, it was eleven to four. It's into nine to four, five to two. Now that's in the uh, one fifteen. We have covered the one fifty. There's a great race then tomorrow. It's the uh, the intermediate hurdle. Two bus horses in it. Well, actually three because I w we were on Napper's Hill when it didn't win last time and it has won four since. But uh, we were on, like to, I like to move it in the Greatwood and we were on First Street. Uh, First Street was, was nine to one there earlier and it's into fives. Uh, he was second um, to State Man in the County Hurl. And uh, he get, was given nearly two stone away at that time, uh, the last run. Uh, I think he was, it was 12 stone as against 10 stone three. Uh, I know that I uh, like to move it was carrying 12 stone as well, but he wasn't given as much weight away. Uh, so he'd be, if I had a choice to make, but I don't think I'll have a bet on the race, I'll just watch it. I'd uh, pick first three uh, to topple Epitant, uh, Epitante. Uh, I think she's better at two and a half miles uh, this stage in her career. Uh, the novice hurl uh, is going to be a very good race. Uh, we've all been caught. Uh, it's a big price. I think it's 40 to 1 for the Albert Bartlett in uh, March. So that'll shorten considerably if it got the job done there tomorrow. It's five to even money favourite at one board there, I see, which is very, very short. Uh, and there's a mayor's handicap hurled in to finish off the day. Uh, Theatre Glory fell the last time. That has the best forum in the race. Uh, if uh, I missed uh, going to uh, Doncaster, if I spot something that I had, I'll put it up in the description later, that I had uh, picked. I, I thought I had one, but I, I, I'll, uh, it's going to take too much time to get it now. Anyway, uh, Cork probably will be on Sunday. We have three or four bus horses going on Sunday. Uh, I may have travelled yet. It depends because I'm itching for racing again before Christmas. So it's uh, the last chance maybe for me. Uh, anyway, bash the bookies over and out.